Recently, Julius Malima and Biasenin Lozi, an EFF member, were taken off a public forum for their divisive statements in which they called ANC members jailbirds. Before we continue, please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell so as to get all our updates. The event happened after a contentious discussion at a political gathering in which Malima and Lozi exchanged barbs over the African National Congress, ANC, and its high-ranking leaders' legal issues as well as corruption problems. Strong criticism of the EFF leaders' remarks came from ANC officials and supporters, who claimed that they were employing divisive rhetoric to harm the party. Malima and Lozi refused to back down in the face of repeated demands from the event organizers and pleas for them to take back their remarks, claiming that their remarks were a fair criticism of the ANC's leadership and track record on corruption. When the event organizers chose to remove Malima and Lozi from the podium due to their concerns about the inflammatory tone of the statements and the possibility of further disturbance, the tension increased. The removal of them was apparently decided in order to maintain order and stop things from becoming worse since the statements had provoked strong responses and threats of violence from different groups in the crowd. The dismissal of Malima and Lozi brings to light the continued conflicts and differences in South African politics, especially between the ANC and EFF. The episode highlights the difficulties political leaders have when handling delicate subjects and the fallout from divisive speech in a heated political atmosphere. Once more, political analyst and MK party member Nathie Sithole has strongly criticized Julius Malima, the commander-in-chief of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, and demanded clarification on his purported shortcomings. Sithole's remarks coincide with escalating hostilities between South African political groups, as many are questioning Malima's leadership. A devoted supporter of the MK party, Sithole voiced her displeasure with Malima's remarks, saying that no one had specifically pointed up any areas in which Malima may have erred. In a recent public speech, he said, someone needs to tell us exactly where the CIC commander-in-chief Malima got it wrong. Sithol claims that Malima's leadership has been revolutionary in that it has confronted problems of corruption, land redistribution, and economic inequality, while also challenging the established quo. The pundit, who has praised Malima's audacious political actions in the past, such as his demands for the nationalization of important businesses and the seizure of land without compensation, is perplexed by the growing unhappiness with Malima's chosen course of action. Sithole believes that a large portion of the criticism leveled at the EFF leader is unfounded. Vague claims that Malima is misguiding us will not persuade us. What specific instances are there? Sithole inquired, pressing critics for a more thorough explanation. One of the loudest political groups advocating for social justice and economic change has been the EFF, led by Malima. But in recent months, criticism from both within and outside the party has increased. Some claim that Malima's strategy has grown polarizing and has alienated prospective supporters in the political arena. Some contend that his extreme positions are losing the EFF significant support from those looking for more reasonable answers to the nation's problems. Sithole is still a strong supporter of Malima's ideas, but his call for openness reflects a growing dissatisfaction in political circles. He urged people who were criticizing Malima to provide specific proof of his shortcomings, stating, We need to know where he went wrong. His plan for South Africa is still one of the most audacious and cogent in the current political landscape up to that point. It is unclear how Malima's critics would react to Sithole's challenge. Two well-known members of the Economic Political Dissidents, EFF, Sinuo Thambo and Nazir Paulson, legally took the oath of office as members of parliament today, marking a momentous occasion in South African legislative history. They take over for the serving members of parliament Floyd Shivambu and Jimmy Mani, who were given fair power to take up their seats as a result of the EFF effort. Sinuo Thambo, a member of the EFF headquarters group and a diligent political planner, is given a plethora of political method and grassroots training for his new parliamentary role. His participation in a number of EFF activities and projects has highlighted his obligation to forward the party's financial reform, civil rights, and youth empowerment agendas. Strongly knowledgeable with the EFF stance on important public problems, Nazir Paulson is well known for his outspoken advocacy of monetary policies and land modification training.